Section 10. Packaging. Useful sentences. 1. Would you like me to wrap it up for you, sir? Do you need this gift wrapped? 2. I'll take this. Please wrap it up for me. Sure. I will put it into a delicate box for you. 3. Wait a moment, please. I'll have it wrapped for you. 4. What kind of wrapper do you like? Either will be fine. 5. Shall I wrap them up together or separately? 6. Please put a red ribbon on it. Okay, I get it. 7. We will charge extra $10 for the packaging. Is that okay? That's expensive, but fine. 8. I'll put it in this box with some foam to protect it. That's very kind of you. Useful conversations. 1. Mail suitcases to home. Jackson, how can I take all of these gifts back home with me? You bought so many souvenirs, Olivia. Do you have enough room in your luggage? No. Both of my suitcases are full of clothes. What should I do? It looks like you have no choice but to mail them home. Two, pack the gift. Do you need this gift wrapped? What does that mean? Well, if it's a gift for someone, we can wrap it up nicely for you, so you can just give it to her right away. It will make for a nicer presentation. Well, I have to fly at home, so I'm worried that nice packaging would get torn. Can you actually pack it so that it won't get broken on an airplane? Oh, sure. I'll put it in this box with some foam to protect it. Does that cost any extra? No, this is how we package things for delivery, so it's free of charge. Gift wrapping is a little extra, though. I understand. Just the delivery packaging, please. Useful paragraph. I'm trying very hard not to put off, hold back, or save anything that would add laughter and luster to our lives. And every morning when I open my eyes, I tell myself that it is special. Every day, every minute, every breath truly is a gift from God. Section 11. Searching for Sales. Useful Sentences. 1. Do you guys have a section of things on sale? I'm curious if you have any deals or promotions going on. 2. Does your store have a clearance sale? Yes, we do. It's right over there. 3. These items are on BOGO. Awesome! That's a great deal. 4. It's always nice to buy holiday stuff after the holiday is over. Yeah, I heard that. 5. Oh, nice! A sale on all men's ties. Oh, look! They're having a sale on all women's shirts. 6. I wonder if they have any cameras on sale. This camera is on sale, but it isn't very good. 7. Seems like they're just trying to rip off the customer. 8. This would be a good deal if it wasn't in such bad shape. 9. It's pretty obvious why these shirts are on sale. Yeah, it looks like it. Useful Conversations 1. Buy Silk Clothing Ryan, I heard that there is a good price on silk clothing in a shop near our hotel. I heard the same thing, Judy. There is nothing like the feeling of fine Chinese silk on the skin. I wouldn't know. I have never bought silk clothes before. Well, let's head over to the shop and take a look. Yes, let's go. 2. Buy French artwork. Rob, I'm going to the culture market to buy some French artwork this afternoon. Want to come with me? Oh, I happen to have a French friend in the city who sells art. That's great! Could your friend give me a good price? I think so. 
Maybe it depends on how many pieces you want to buy. I want to buy many paintings. I especially love landscape paintings. No problem. She has a lot of those, and I'm sure she can give you a good deal. Useful paragraph. When your dreams start to seem so impossible, then look beyond all the problems that face you and focus on possibilities. Don't limit your thoughts to the present or solutions you have learned from the past. Remember to keep looking forward, and you may find the answer at last. Section twelve. After sale service. Useful sentences. One, my cell phone has been on the fritz. It cannot answer or make phone calls. This computer broke today, but I just bought it yesterday. Two, our technician will check it up and repair it for you. Three, these clothes don't fit. Can I exchange them? Four, I'd like to make an exchange on this shirt. All right, do you have the receipt? Five. Can I have my mobile phone upgraded here? Six. One of your employees was very rude to me. I'm truly sorry. Did you remember his name? Seven. I will have to send it to our after-service center and repair it for you. How long will it take? Eight. I'm sorry to hear that. When did you buy the computer? I bought it the day before yesterday. Nine. There may be something wrong with the video display card. Useful conversations. One, a new smartphone. Roy, I bought a new smartphone this afternoon. Oh, are you happy with it? Yes, it's very nice. But you don't sound so happy. Well, I didn't think about one important thing. What's that? I can't get after sales service because I am not from this city. I should have waited until I got home to buy a new phone. You are right. It's not a good idea to buy a mobile phone while on a short vacation. Maybe I will get lucky and won't have any problems with it. I hope you are right, Betty. Two, to get feedback. Hi, Cora. This is Fred. We worked together last week when you purchased that order of plastic plates and cups for your conference. Yes. Hello, Fred. I'm calling to make sure you were satisfied with the product and to get feedback on your experience. The product itself was great. It arrived behind schedule, so it delayed some of the setup procedures I had planned. I'm nervous to order from your company again because of this. I see. Let me assure you that your next order will be upgraded to express shipping at no extra charge to assure the delivery gets there on time. Useful paragraph. An optimistic attitude is not a luxury; it's a necessity. The way you look at life will determine how you feel, how you perform, and how well you will get along with other people. Conversely. Negative thoughts, attitudes, and expectations feed on themselves. They become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Pessimism creates a dismal place where no one wants to live. Section thirteen: Exchange and refund. Useful sentences. One. Excuse me, I bought this sweater yesterday, but it's too small. I would like to return it. Let me have a look at your receipt, please. Two, I forget my receipt. Is there any way I can just get store credit? Sure. Let me scan the item in. Three, did you open it? No, I didn't. Four, I bought this camera from you guys yesterday, and it doesn't work. I am sorry to hear that. Five. Do you want your money back? You will have a full refund within twenty-four hours. Six. Do you want to exchange this or get a refund? Seven. 
When did you place your order? 8. Could I have a refund on this skirt? There is a stain on it. All right, but let me see. 9. I'm sorry, but we don't allow returns on sale items. Okay, I understand. Useful conversations. 1. No refunds or exchanges. I would like to exchange these souvenirs that I purchased yesterday. I'm sorry, didn't you see the sign on the door? No, I didn't. It says no refunds or exchanges. Do you think you can make a one-time exception for me? I'm sorry, sir. This is our policy. Okay, I understand. Thanks anyway. Two. Exchange the earrings. Hi. I would like a refund for these earrings that I bought last week. I'm sorry, madam. We don't do refunds. But I really have decided that I don't like it at all. This is what I can do for you. I can allow you to exchange the earrings for a similarly priced item. All right. I think I can accept that. Okay. I will give you some time to look around the shop for something that you like. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Don't mention it. Useful paragraph. You may have 100 reasons for complaining the environment around you, but it will never change even 1% just because of your complaint. Chapter 9. Leisure and Entertainment. Section 1. At a Bar. Useful Sentences. 1. Good evening, sir. What would you like to drink? Double tequila sunrise, please. Maybe juice, then. I don't like alcohol. 2. Here is the drink list. I'll have a beer, please, with lots of ice. 3. I can hardly decide what to drink. I suggest you have a taste of cocktail. All right, I will try. 4. I'm afraid vodka is too strong for me. I would like to have something stronger. 5. I'll go to the bar and get two gin tonics. 6. Is that with ice and lemon, madam? Yes, please. 7. Give me a scotch on the rocks. 8. What kind of beer do you have? We've got local beer and imported beer. 9. Another whiskey, please. I can't take another drop. 10. I would like to have a glass of champagne. Okay. What else would you like? Nothing at the moment. 11. Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Thanks. 12. Would you like a refill? No thanks. I have to go now. Useful Conversations 1. The Amber Beer Good evening, sir. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, please. What beers do you have on tap? We have a German Amber Beer and English Black Beer. Okay. I will have the Amber Beer. Would you like a glass or a pint? Pint, please. Okay. Coming right up. Thank you. Two. Happy hour. When does happy hour begin? It starts in one hour at 7 p.m. Oh, good. What are the drink specials during happy hour? All cocktails are half price, and bottled beer is buy two, get one free. Sounds great. And any food specials? Yes. Chicken wings are six for two dollars, and small snacks like peanuts are free during happy hour. Nice. I better call my buddies now and have them come here. Good. Can I get you something to drink now? How about a Long Island iced tea? Good choice. Coming right up. Useful paragraph. Illness, injury, love, lost moments of true greatness 
and sheer stupidity all occur to test the limits of your soul. Without these small tests, whatever they may be, life would be like a smoothly paved, straight, flat road to nowhere. It would be safe and comfortable, but dull and utterly pointless. Section 2. At a Café. Useful Sentences. 1. Hey, want to grab a cup of coffee later? 2. The environment of this café is nice. This place is great. 3. What would you like to drink? Two coffees, please. 4. What kind of coffee would you like? A cup of espresso, please. 5. I'll have a small cappuccino. I would like an iced latte. Give me a decaf, please. No cream. 6. A black coffee for me and a white one for him. I like a large one. 7. Could you tell me what you put in mocha? Cream and sugar. 8. Sugar is just over there. 9. Do you need anything else? Just coffee for the moment. 10. The coffee here is perfect. I can't agree more. 11. Wow, this coffee is strong. 12. Do you serve dinner? Yes, here is the menu. Useful conversations. 1. A large cappuccino. Welcome to Tony's Cafe. What can I get you to drink? Thank you. I would like a large cappuccino. Would you like that served hot or on ice? Hot, please. Okay, that will be $3. I will have it ready for you in a couple minutes. Great, thank you. Here's $3. Two. A cup of French roast? Good morning. What can I get for you? Morning. What's your coffee of the day? It's French roast. Can I make you a cup of that? No, thanks. I think I will have a shot of espresso. Shall I make that a double shot? Okay, that sounds good. I would also like a blueberry muffin. Would you like me to warm that muffin up for you? Yes, please. So you have ordered a double shot of espresso and a blueberry muffin. That will be $5, please. Here you are. Thanks. Your order will be ready in a few minutes. Thank you. Useful Paragraph The greatest discovery of my generation is that a man can alter his life simply by altering his attitude of mind. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Don't complain.